what's the most important thing to look at? Um, is that free testosterone or total testosterone? And um, is it okay to dose 300 milligrams a week if that brings my free testosterone to 30? Currently, he's taking 200 milligrams per week with a free testosterone of 20. Okay. So we generally don't like to chase numbers as we discuss over and over again. Numbers are pretty much uh, something that helps to ensure that you are not necessarily causing harm to other bodily functions, right? So if we look at the metabolic panels, uh, complete blood panels, uh, then we can kind of look somewhat within the ranges and determine, you know, do we have a low state of a specific metric? In the case of red blood cells, let's say an hemoglobin, uh, is this individual anemic or are they, you know, suffering from uh, polycythemia or erythropoiesis or uh, erythrocytosis or anything that is essentially well out of range. When it comes to hormones, it's not a clear cut answer because we have in, uh, several videos discussing the lab ranges of hormones and how they are derived. Uh, and we know that this is essentially something that is up for interpretation. And many different labs have different, different guidelines as well within ranges. For the most part, though, if you're trying to, you know, treat yourself to symptom resolution and you are supposedly not feeling that well with a free TF20, we have to first understand why this is happening. Perhaps your SHBG is too high, or perhaps your total testosterone is insufficient to have a proper or, or sufficient free T level. So let me break this question into two parts. The first question was, is it okay to dose TRT at 300 milligrams per week? The short answer is yes, if it's needed. Now, that would be an outlier. We have seen patients medically treated at those doses. It is rare, okay? It is an outlier, it is not the norm, but it can be medical treatment for a particular person for the reason I stated before, if in fact that is what's needed. Now, don't go and just increase your dosage based on your free T number for the sake of saying, well, I wanna go from 20 to 30. You need to be able to assess and figure out why it is that your free testosterone is insufficient for you. And there may be other ways to free up more T. So it's not necessarily a matter of dosing at a higher level. It may be more of an adjustment on frequency, diet, lifestyle, or other potential underlying conditions. We know that certain liver diseases or liver toxicity or stressors may elevate SHBG. We know that certain nutritional aspects may elevate SHBG and that in and of itself is going to lower your free T level. So we need to do a little bit more of an assessment here before we can just give a clear cut answer and say, just go from two to 300 milligrams per week. Uh, but it's not a complete rule out to say that you may benefit from a higher dose. We just need more information before we can responsibly answer this for an individual.